Good morning, kids. Maya, Papaya, and I are getting ready to head out, see if we can talk some gold out of the ground. It's a little chilly out. Got a little th um, flannel on this morning. It feels pretty good. I'm going to have to shed it before we start hiking because you know how that works. You start hiking and you start sweating. So anyway, we've got a pretty good hike ahead of us, just under an hour. So we'll check back in with you later when we're uh, hopefully more dirty with a little bit of gold in our poke. We'll see you soon. All right, kids, I got a couple targets here. I'm going to try to keep my camera clean. I don't know if I've ever told you the story, but one time I went to Hawaii and uh, had a camera like this one with the uh, telescoping lens. And I got excited, got out on the beach, got sand in it. And um, that was the end of that camera. Ended up having to, you know, drive into, I can't remember the name of the town somewhere. I was in Maui. Maybe it was uh, Walea or something like that. Anyway, I was at uh, uh, one of the beaches there and, yep, camera was gone. Had to go get another one just because I got dirt, or not dirt, but sand um, from the beach. And the telescopic lens. I don't want to do that to this one. But anyway, take a listen to what we have here. I don't know about you, but I think there's two targets there. Call me crazy. But we'll see. I'm going to try to get the old camera set up here. Point my finger to where they are so at least I can film it. And we'll see what we get. Alrighty. There's one. Adjust this camera here. You see it down there? There's one right there. Down the bedrock, a little tiny guy. Okay. Let me set this one aside here. I think there's no target in there. We'll find out for sure here in a second. Yes, I do believe so. Let's take a look. I'm going to hold the camera back here so I don't get dirt in it. I'm not exactly sure where this one is yet. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So let's see if we can get it. There we go. You see it? Right there. Right down the rock. Even kind of blew it a little bit. Nice little, uh, nice little piece. Let me see if I can grab the other one. What the heck did I do with it? All right, there it is. And what did I do with the other piece? Okay, I just dropped that thing. I have to refine that. That's funny. I have to refine this piece. Oh, hang tight. Okay, well, after the epic fail moment where I lost the nugget for a second because I threw it on a hill, I was a little bit out of balance there. I got it back. So there it is. I didn't burn up the camera battery. And there's the other one. Let's see if we can kind of zoom in on them a little bit more. There we go. Yep, it's all part of being human. Sometimes you screw things up and uh, you drop a nugget. That's life. Well, we've talked two out of the ground, and um, <coughs> hopefully we can talk a few more out. Maya's still napping. She was uh, un thoroughly unimpressed with my uh, having to find the nugget a second time. <laughs> I don't blame her, but that's okay. Anyway, two so far. 
um, this little bedrocky area in this wash and uh, we'll see if we can find a couple more. Well, I sure hope so. I hope they get bigger. I'm looking for looking for the grandfather in here. We'll see if we can find him, but I'm pretty happy with these two little guys. Catch you soon, kids. Alright kids, well we're back at the side-by-side uh, -side. and uh, what a great day. We got two nuggets, lost one, found it again, so does that mean we found three nuggets? Amateur hour, right? Hey, no one bats a thousand every day. Anyway, what you're looking at is uh, some samples I took from a different wash on the way back. I found some nuggets in that one too and I been kind of curious about how much gold may be in it for dry wash and so I took a sample from the lower wash and the upper wash and uh, put them in some baggies wrap some duct tape around them and here we go we'll see we'll see we'll paint them out in another location and see what we get um, paint them out later but something good to do I always recommend that if you're in an area take a sample you know you can block cracks sometimes and you can see the gold um, but it never hurts just to grab a quick sample and pan it out. Also, never hurts just to um, really just look at stringers or veins in the area and just to see what might be in them. You know, prospecting is just that. It's looking. So if you're not looking, you're not going to be finding a guarantee of that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed Amateur Hour today with uh, me losing a nugget and finding it again. Miss Papaya is resting. It's been a great day. We're going to get home. We have a deer hunt coming up. So we have to do a little bit of maintenance on our hunting truck. We've got to uh, replace the ignition control module and the distributor. It's running good, but it's intermittently cutting out and we uh, pulled the codes on it and we know what the problem is. It's one of two things. So we're gonna get that taken care of. It shouldn't take us more than a few hours to change those out and hopefully we'll have a deer in the next week or two. So anyway, kids, till next time, keep it real.